now we will see about the watcher watcher property how the watcher property will work the watcher property is pretty straightforward only so the name itself indicates that it will be watching a particular variable that is nothing but a data variable here the data property it will be watching a particular data property for example let's say that the full name here i want to get the full name okay this full name is based on the first name and last name whenever either any of this one first name or last name changes i want to recalculate this full name in this computer property we have seen it and the benefits of this computer computer property also we have seen if you want to implement the same process the same requirement using the watcher property means what we need to do is so here we can remove this computer property I want to get the full name. Full name is nothing but a combination of first name and the last name. Okay. And I want to add some text or something like that to the full name. So here I can use a watch. Okay. Watch like this. So this will be like this watch. And I need to watch a particular variable. So what is that variable I want? I want to watch it. First name and also the last name. So whenever these two variables changes, I want to update this full name. Full name. So here we can watch first we can watch only the one variable at a time only so i want to watch a first name variable so here we need to use it like this and whenever this first name is ch changed then i need to update something like this dot full name is equal to this dot first name plus this dot last name so i want to update it like this and here i can add some text like this i can add it so now not only the first name i need to watch the <coughs> last name also right so what i need to do again i need to write another condition last name and here i need to write it here again the same logic i need to write it so now we are watching the two properties and the two properties are implementing the same logic okay they are implementing the same logic so i am watching this first name and also the last name so whenever this first name and last name changes immediately this method will invoke now if you try to see the full name where we are using full name right here i will try to show you the full name let's see what will happen if you open this one in the live server so here first time the watcher is not working if you try to observe first time watcher is not working now when i am trying to update here see now it is now it is updating so watcher will try to watch this first name and the last name first time the watcher will not execute but here the here the property this is the method right this method got executed and the computer property also will execute but whereas the watcher property when it will try to execute it whenever we change anything first name and the last name so here last name when i change the value the last name variable got updated now it now it try to execute this logic in the watcher here this last name and it tried to update this full name hello and first name it took the value that is leela and also the last name it took the latest value which it has been updated so using like this watcher property will work so then what is the difference between the computed property and a uh, what i can say is watcher property so here the computed property is somewhat what i can say is it is the somewhat smart enough than the watcher property so i will try to show you one demo so that you will understand about this computer property and also the watcher property how it will be acting uh, for example let's say that um, i will try to remove this one all so that you will not get confused we will remove this one all we will see for one for variable we will add we will add a computed and also we will add a watcher also these so all the things also you will try to remove it so that you will try to add from first onwards so that you can able to understand very easily this one is getting complicated right yeah so now we have one variable let's assume so data and we need to return one data property we are having let's say is logged in okay is logged in so by default it is true okay and i need to show a computed message i will try to show a computed message so this message variable will be updated updated through the computed and what i can do is okay computed message means it will be about it so here watcher message i will be having a watcher message this one is like this now what i need to do here in the main.html 
I want to show in a such a way that here I will be having a due. So here I need to show a watcher message. Okay, watcher message. And here I want to show computed message also. Computed message. Computed message. Computed message. So these are the two properties. This one is a computed property and this one is a watcher message. This is a data property. And now here computed message means so this one is a computed property right what i will try to do is here i will add a computed and i will be having this computed message property and i will try to return here if this dot is logged in is there then user is logged in okay or otherwise user is not logged in i can show it like this computer message and now we are showing a computer message and now we will be having a same watcher message also so watch same thing i am trying to do it so what i need to watch i need to watch a is logged in here i need to watch this one so here i can write the same thing if this dot u is logged in is there and i can update it to this dot watcher message try to understand the syntax how we how i am trying to do it user is logged in else if it is not logged in means we are having two variables which is doing one and the same only but one variable is calculating through the watcher and one variable is calculating through the computed property user is not logged in so this both the variables does the same thing only computed message and the watcher message both are message showing that if the user is logged in it will show it as logged in or otherwise it not logged in or otherwise i will try to add watcher here and also uh, we will try to add it here So here I am able to see computed message first time. Why? Because when the user is logged in is detected, computed message will be calculated. Whereas this watcher message is not calculated for the first time. If you want to make it calculated for the first time means, so we need to learn about the life cycle hooks. We will try to learn it afterwards. Mm, now is logged in for the first time it is not calling. So when this is logged in variable changed, the next time onwards when it is changed, this logic will be getting executed. This is the one difference you need to understand. Whereas the computed messages, immediately when the variable is there it will try to execute for the first time whereas the watcher will not execute for the first time now we are able to see it we'll uh, let's try to add a button okay we will try to add a button and here i am having a button two buttons let's say that i am having two buttons login and also i am having logout two buttons we are having so when this one is logged in at the rate click i will be doing is logged in we can write it here also like this directly is logged in is equal to true i will try to make it as true or otherwise if it is not logged in means i can make it as a false so we can also write a method here and you can go and write the same logic like there also for example here i will try to write the second scenario on logout click and i can go into this main.js and here i can write a methods in this methods i can write on logout click Maybe this day, this example will be worse, but try to understand. Mm, here I can use this dot is logged in is equal to false. So I think what I am trying to do is I am trying to <coughs> toggle this is logged in button true to false, false to true. I am showing the different scenarios what we have learned. So you can write here directly on click the method and you can go and write the same thing. Instead of going and writing the single line, I am writing here the same single line here also both are one and the same only if you want right here you can write on login click and you can write the same thing to true so i am trying to make it so now if i try to go into this one so we have, we have a two buttons login and logout so if i click on the login okay if i click on the login so nothing is happening if i click on the logout see watcher is not logged in we are able to get it if i click on the login again so we are able to get it now let's try to see that whether a debugger is executing here or not so let's try to add a debugger here. 
Okay, we'll try to add a debugger. Let's see. In the console. So I'm clicking on the login here. Login, it is not. Uh, okay, we don't have any debugger, right? Fine. Yeah. When I click on the logout, we are able to get that it is going to the watcher. And if I click on this one, so we are able to get into the computer also. When I click on again in this one, okay, watcher has been uploaded, I think. Okay. So here, when we are going to the watcher, so now here, it is working so it's working one and the same only actually in the previous view js so when we are having the true also the same value also when we are having the watcher will execute it again so here if you are having a true so when you are having the same value when you are trying to update it the same value the watcher will update it again for example now now uh, the latest version they have changed it i think in the view js 2 it will try to do the same thing i thought that it will do here also so they have updated with a thing so then that means so both are one and the same only but one thing what you need to understand is the watcher property will not execute for the first time whereas the computed property will be executed for the first time okay that is the one thing you need to understand it previously the watcher property what it will try to do is if you try to update the value with the same value also it will try to execute the same logic here but here the right now in the vue.js 3 so they have updated it so watcher property they are, it is smart enough it is not recalculated it is not going into the watcher again so previously when you are clicking on the login also it will try to go to the watch again and it will try to execute it again and again but this time it will be executing so let's try to see the docs once again Vue.js. Mm, get started let's go to the watcher property computer errors just to declare however there are cases that you need to perform side effects for example dom with an options api watch option so we understood about this watch option so here you will be having a question so it will be taking the old value and also the new value these are parameters we can have it those are not uh, mandatory the watch option also supports a dot delimited path as the key mm, okay these are different deep watchers eager watches watch is lazy by default okay so this is lazy by default only the callback won't won't be called so here they have updated it since so it is also lazy by default the callback won't be called until the watch source has changed so here the watch source has changed previously pre previously previously the watch source this, if it doesn't change also the callback will be called again and again but this time they are this lazy by default they are telling but in some cases you may want to some may want the same callback to run eagerly for example you want to patch the same initial data then refresh the data when not it changes we can force a watch to execute immediately by declaring it using a watcher and let find immediate to true okay immediate to true so we need to add this uh, immediate to true it seems let's try to add it immediate true so they have added the new things watcher where we where he is adding okay for the question immediate true they are having they are having for this one we'll try to see it i don't know this one is new one so computed I click on the login then also it is not executing so the immediate true means is different thing i think where is the docs again so callback flush timing you may mutate the react with both the watcher and the callbacks you can create it flush post okay this dot all is also to get your dot watch this is all stopping a watcher okay this data uh, this is okay so watchers are lazy by default only so those things are okay remove it so i thought that watchers are not lazy previously it was not lazy so watchers uh, they have made it as watchers by lazy by default only so this is the main difference between a watcher and the computer property so this is the one thing you need to understand it so you cannot return a value in the watcher property so you cannot return a value in the watcher property whereas in the computer property you must have to return a value why because this is a variable and here the watcher property it is not a variable you are watching the existing property data property and both does the one and the same thing only but the difference is nothing but here the watching will not be executed at the first time whereas the computer property will execute for the first time and also whenever the value changes here the watch and computer both are lazy only so whenever the value changes only it will try to execute it if you want to assign the same value to the same variable again means so they are not executing so that is one thing you need to understand so this is the this is the difference between watch and the computer both are one and the same only most of the time we need to use the computed property only
watcher property also we can use it not a problem depends on the scenario we need to use it so we both does the same thing but there are some little bit of differences that is nothing but watch and the computer property these things whereas the watch also one limitation what we have found is we can watch only a single property at a time whereas for the computed property what we have seen we can also watch for the multiple variables at a time so here if you add multiple data properties in this one this variable will respond to the both the variables whereas here if you want to watch two properties at a time means you need to add again another watch property here so that is also one limitation in the watcher so if you have a only one property if you want to watch means you can use the watch or also computed also you can use it but if you are watching simultaneously two properties at a time means it's better to use the computed property so that you can write one logic in, at a time so this is a this is all about the watcher property